and make sure to like this video because it's gonna be Aka amazing. That's funny if you know who Skylar Aston is. <laughs>welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel and thanks for clicking on my face my name is JC and today I will be telling you a little story of how I started a music video for Pitch Perfect's pretty boy Skylar Aston now if you have been following me for a while you know I don't have the most consistent YouTube upload schedule that is because I do work a full-time job I have a lot of friend and family commitments but also I spend a lot of my time doing these these fun little side gigs in the modeling and acting world. Now, tragically, Martin Scorsese has not come knocking down my door to co-star with Leonardo DiCaprio yet, but in the meantime, I do kind of just do these fun little gigs on the side, and one of them recently was a music video performance for Skylar Aston. So I was recently featured in his video, but it actually turned out pretty embarrassing for me. So if you wanna hear this story, make sure to stay tuned. And if you like videos like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join us for future story times. But with that being said, let's just get started. Now the story starts about two months ago when I was perusing Backstage.com. I have talked about this site before. It is essentially Indeed, but for the entertainment industry. So they have a lot of voiceover work, modeling, acting type gigs, all within the entertainment industry. Um, I'll leave a referral link below if that's something of interest to you, but that's kind of where I'm getting these random like social media modeling things, or I guess music video work. So I've actually seen music video listings on this site before, but they're usually really vague and I think it's because they want you to apply to be good for the job as opposed to just because of the bias for the musical artist. So an example would be I've heard of somebody who applied for a music video, she shows up and it's a Justin Bieber music video. Or I recently uh, I recently saw one that like didn't interest me too much and I found out it was a Megan Thee Stallion video so missed that opportunity. So I was a little bit surprised when I saw this listing on Backstage and it said who the artist was. Now it was Skylar Aston, who you may know as Jesse from Pitch Perfect or more recently Max from Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, which plays on cable TV. So my mom watches it, but I don't have cable, but I've seen it and it's a really good show and a musical show. So he has, he has musical genes flowing through his blood and I guess he started a solo career, wrote a single, and now is creating a music video that needs extras. Now, what was interesting about this music video listing was it said they needed about 20 extras to film on a Tuesday night for no pay, which is not something that I've ever actually done before because you know, my time is valuable. I'd rather, you know, use that time to make a video or do other kind of work. But I knew him and it was Skylar Aston. And I'm like, ah, that's why people don't put the names because that name recognizability was the reason that I applied. So I thought about it and I was like, well, I'm not doing anything on a Tuesday night. I'll click apply. Sure enough, they message back. They're like, awesome. We think you'd be perfect to play a background extra in this music video. The vibes you're going for is kind of like a disco house party and we'll be filming in Los Feliz. Los Feliz? Los Feliz? Los Angeles. I don't really know the correct pronunciation there. So I was like, cool. I'm gonna be in a music video. So I head down to the mall to whatever store it was, some random store in there, and I buy a nice halter top sparkly dress. I am basically a disco ball. So I do my makeup really dark because again, it's like house party vibes. I pick out my hair all big, I throw on some heels, and I head to the address that they sent me. So I get there kind of early because I like to arrive early for those things just to scope it out and make sure I'm not like too late for the call time. And it's just this house, just this house in this nice residential neighborhood, a very nice house, I might add, very nice. <laughs> I cannot afford it. But there were no cars outside and there was nobody like, there was no hustle and bustle like I usually see for all my other gigs. So I was like, well, let me hang out in my car here for a little bit because <laughs> this could be a sex trafficking scam. <laughs> so I wait for about 20 minutes and I kind of start seeing some people go in and out. But the problem was that all the people that I see going in and out are dressed really casually, you know? Like there were a couple guys, like there's maybe one guy in a polo, but he was wearing like jeans. There were other girls that were wearing like, you know, leather jackets and jeans and just a lot more casual than I was looking. So I start getting a little self-conscious in the sense of, okay, either I'm super overdressed, I'm at the wrong house party, or I'm about to get kidnapped, you know? 
So finally, I see enough people going in that I'm like, okay, I think I'm in the right place. Let's just go for it. So I walk up and I'm like, hi, I'm here to be in a music video. And they were like, ah, yes, JC, check. Go ahead and head upstairs. So I walked through the house and it was kind of just a downstairs living room of this Airbnb, I guess, or something. I don't really know all the logistics, but it was a super 70s vibe. They had a fog machine going and very disco vibes. And I, I spot Skylar Aston kind of like talking to the director or producer, whatever it was. And I was like, oh my God, it's him. But be professional. I was told to go all the way to the roof, basically, or the backyard. I don't know. It was a weirdly stacked house. Not the point. So I go upstairs to the backyard and that's where all the other extras were. There was about 15 of us. Part of the fun part of all these gigs is just meeting new people. So sure enough, they're kind of aware of that and we all start talking and we're all just really vibing, having a good time. More people start arriving and we're just talking to each other. We're asking each other like, hey, where are you from? How do you guys know each other? Where did you see this listing? Another funny thing was I met this one guy who starts telling a story of how he got cast for a... <laughs> he got cast for a competition show. Um, that was basically like Wipeout and it ended up getting canceled and now he'll never, his part will never air. And sure enough, it was the same show that I almost got cast for where the whole crew got infected with like dysentery basically. Hilarious. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. So we were kind of commiserating about that, that he actually made it onto the show and now it's not even going to air, but that's beside the point. Any hustle. So we're all just kind of vibing, you know, all 15 of us are getting to know each other and we spend about an hour together before we actually have to do any type of role within the music video. So during that time, we're making friendships. We're adding each other on Instagram. We're, we're bonding as up and coming models and actresses in the entertainment world. But as I'm sitting there, I'm sitting next to this other girl, this friend that I made, and she and I um, are both overdressed. Like, we both feel very overdressed. We definitely leaned into the 70s disco vibe. Meanwhile, everybody else kind of did contemporary LA house party, meaning like girls were in like cute dresses, but also, you know, jean jackets and Converse. And all of the guys were in just like short sleeve button downs or even t-shirts with jean jackets. And we we're like, we look like we came from a totally different party. So there was a producer kind of walking around and we actually got fed pizza. That was part of the payment was dinner was included. So she's bringing out the pizzas, which was <laughs> delicious, by the way. That was a definite highlight from that night, the pizza. And so we kind of pull her aside. We're like, hey, are we overdressed? Like, should we have brought different clothes? And she was like, actually, you guys are perfect. Like this whole thing works because it's kind of like everybody came from other parties and all joined up at this one party. So it's totally fine. Don't even worry about it. So I was like, okay, cool. If the producer says it's fine, then it's fine. So we all eat our pizza. We are all just hanging out. And then the producer comes and grabs us all and says, okay, guys, we are ready to shoot your shots. Like camera wise, not like we're going to hit on Skylar Aston. Yeah, uh, anyway. So we all head downstairs to the cool 70s vibe living room and Skylar is in the corner of the room and the wall has like this giant mirror, which was really cool. He was in this sparkly red suit without a shirt underneath because abs. <laughs> So they kind of one by one start placing all of us extras everywhere. So they start putting people sitting on the couch, people sitting on the floor, people on top of the couch, people over here next to Skylar. Just takes like about 20 minutes to kind of set everybody up. So I kind of start like way off to the side, like you can't even see me. And I'm well aware that I'm just some silly extra, you know, it doesn't matter where I, if I'm even seen. But so during this time, I did have a jean jacket because it was kind of cold and I was wearing it because I was trying to dress down my outfit a little bit. But as they start lining us up, the director at this point, he goes, excuse me, you there with the curly hair, can you take off your jacket? So I was like, sure. So I take off my jean jacket and he was like, perfect. I love the way your dress sparkles. Let's go put you next to Skylar because I really like the way it's reflecting. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I get put next to Skylar with this one other girl and as everybody's setting up, you know, there's no music playing. Everybody's just still kind of talking to each other and everybody had made those friendships, you know, so everything felt like very natural. But because I was standing next to the one person who like wasn't hanging out with us, AKA the star, I was like, do I, do I talk to him? Do I just like l be professional? I don't really know. So I kind of went the route of like, I was talking to this other girl and we were vibing, whatever. And then she tries talking to Skylar and he wasn't really reciprocating the conversation because he was very much in focus mode, which is totally understandable. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to talk to him. Like he, he's doing his own thing. I'm not going to be that person trying to fangirl over him or trying to make a friendship. I don't know. I'm just not trying to wreck a chill vibe with conversation. Jafiel, Jafiel.
So the director tells us, okay, we're gonna start the music, and for this scene, you guys are just hanging out talking. That's it, just look natural. They hand me a cup that looks like it's some silly goose juice in there, and I just have to pretend like I'm drinking liquor and feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. So cameras roll, the music plays, and Skylar's just lip syncing to the song, as one does for a music video, and I'm just like talking to the girl next to me, you know? It's a house party vibe, we're just supposed to be chilling sort of thing. And so the whole time they're filming, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, you can see me. Like, mom, I'm gonna be in a music video. Like, I'm right there, I have big ass hair and hopefully I look cute as a little disco ball. So we do that for about like 15 to 20 minutes, just kind of like standing, talking. They have people like stand up and walk in front of the camera. They have start directing some of the other people to do other things like, okay, you take a picture on this Polaroid. You guys cheer sort of thing, you know, directing the music video. So then after about like a half hour, they're like, okay, we're done with this shot. Everybody can head back upstairs while we set up for the next shot. So we go upstairs, kind of cool off because it was getting insanely hot in there. Like they have a fog machine going, they have 20 people in a small little room. It was hot. So we had to go upstairs, kind of cool off while they set up for the next shot. So the producer again comes down, comes up and gets us and says, okay guys, we're ready for the next shot. So again, they start placing us around and I again get kind of placed next to Skylar. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me so, so giddy, I don't know. And we're all standing up and they said, okay, for this scene, you guys are just gonna be like swaying, chilling, no big deal. But then when the beat drops, you all start dancing and having the time of your lives. So they play the music, we're all just kind of swaying, beat drops, and we all just go, mm, 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 yeah, yeah, ah, uh, mm, ah. Uh. I love this song, I love this song. Yes, yes, hit it and cut exactly how it went and then we just did that 15 more times you know just trying to get the perfect shot of everybody dancing having a good time and the whole time you know the camera's on Skylar he's the star but I'm right there you guys I'm right there I'm right there so at this point it was super fun you know Skylar's starting to joke a little bit more with people and I don't want to insinuate that he was cold before but he's doing his job sort of thing but it's definitely like a lot more fun of an environment it definitely felt like we were at a house party and even though we had to listen to this song a thousand times over and over again just for one scene, it was still a super fun time. So then they were like, all right guys, um, I think that's a wrap. Everybody can head upstairs and we'll kind of give you final directions there. So all 15 to 20 of us head upstairs again, back out to the nice coolness of the outside world. And we're all just kind of hanging around like, okay, are we done? What's going on here? Skylar comes up and he says, hey guys, just wanted to thank you all so, so much for coming out. You know, like this is my first single. It's a really big deal. And I'm so grateful that each of you were able to be a part of it. You know, gave like a really nice heartfelt speech. And he was like, but yeah, that's going to be it. I still have a few more scenes, but if you guys want to take some photos, like we can take some photos here, like whatever you want. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like I was literally there for about two hours. I got pizza. I got to be in a couple scenes and I got to meet a lot of cool people. And so I was like, oh, that was super fun. Fun. But then the producer comes over to me and the other girl who I said was in another cute dress and she kind of pulls us to the side and whispers to us. She was like, hey guys, do you actually mind staying for a few solo scenes? Um, we don't want other people to like feel bad or anything, but if you can kind of just stick around for a little bit, we'd love to include you guys in some more scenes. And so we're like, <laughs> heck yes, lady. So everybody starts lining up to take their photos with Skylar. And this part, this part just makes, I don't know why, like, it makes me cringe, but he was so nice, you guys. So sticky sweet, so incredible. And everybody was going up to him and like taking selfies and being like, my mom loves you. And then like the next person would come up and be like, you were awesome and pitch perfect. And it's just kind of like, I don't know. I thought that was kind of weird. I. I don't know if it's like because I like to be very professional, but I don't know. I, I, I don't want somebody to come up to me and be like, hey, you're a has-been, <laughs> has-been. First of all, he's super famous. He's in a very famous, well-known TV show right now. He just wrote this single and you're bringing up like some of his past stuff or that your mom loves him. I don't know, I thought that was really weird. So I kind of held off from taking a photo. One, because I knew I'd be staying later and I could get a better photo at that time. But two, everybody was just lining up and it was starting to take a long time that I was like, eh, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. So again, he's taking photos, being super nice, making everybody laugh, you know, sharing stories. And so everybody kind of starts to leave and I'm trying to hold back. And the girl who I was standing with during the whole music video, she was like, hey, like, do you want to head out? You want to walk out together? 
And so I was like, oh, actually, I was asked to stay, so I'll be staying a little bit. And she was kind of like, oh, okay. Like, no big deal, no hard feelings. But it was like, oh, no, was I supposed to keep that a secret? So everybody heads out, and left from the group is five girls. And it's the five girls that were basically the most 70s disco vibe. So I was like, okay, we all understood the brief, which is why we were asked to stay. Cool. Now we get some solo shots. So the first girl goes, and what they tell her to do is they have one of those there's probably a technical term for it. Um, and this motion probably isn't helping you guys. <laughs> it's those things that you like put on a door curtain and they're just like beads that hang in a door. I don't know what they're called, but they were just like, all right, we're just gonna play like a minute of the song, just kind of like sexy dance to the beads. And so she goes and she was fantastic, you know, being all sultry and like flipping her hair back and forth and going up and down on the beads. And they're like, oh, perfect. Next girl goes up, does the same thing with the beads, and she was phenomenal. And the whole time they're like, okay, who's next? And I'm like, I can't go. I don't know how to be sexy. Like, this is weird. So the third girl goes and they give her a disco ball. And they're like, okay, we're just gonna, we just want some cool light reflections from the disco ball. Just like be sexy, be cool, but have fun, you know? So she goes for a minute, sexy dancing with this disco ball and just being like, ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I love this song. I love this party. So then it was my turn to go, and I was like, ah, shit, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to be sexy, but I, I'm an actress, I can do this. So they put me behind this bar, and they had like kind of a bar set up in this living room, which is tight, and they're like, okay, you're just gonna like sexy dance behind this bar, and I was like, all right, all right, I can do this. So then Skylar walks up, and I also failed to mention that during this time, because he wasn't in any of these shots, he was talking to us a lot more, so nice, so funny, so sweet. Like, he's one of those people that it's like, exactly what you think he would be, he is. He was terrific. So at this point, we kind of had established a rapport, and he goes, wait, how about for your prop, you wear my jacket? Now, if you recall from earlier, he was wearing a very red and sparkly suit. He takes off his jacket and hands it to me, and he goes, how about you kind of like use this as your prop, you dance around with it, kind of like you won my jacket at the end of the night, like you won. And I was like, I won. I'm the main girl. I got Skylar's jacket. <laughs> so I was like, yes, Mr. Aston, you got it. So they play the song and I'm just like, uh, uh. like I try to, I try to be as sexy as I can, you know, to an extent. I'm not super comfortable with it, but I was having a good time just dancing on the bar, doing all the stuff. So something funny that happened that I think is so hilarious was they were like, wow, like you have such pretty eyes. Can you wink into the camera? And I was like, sure. And they were, <laughs> and then everybody starts laughing because they're like, you can't wink, can you? And I was like, hang on, I'm so sorry. And so everybody starts laughing and Skylar was like, it's hard, it's hard, I know. And I was like, hang on, I just really have to think about it. And they're like, perfect, we're just gonna put that in slow motion. And so it was so funny because I was like, man, I am not a hot winker. <laughs> But then for like the next two minutes, they're like, hey, we're just gonna like do some close-ups of your eyes. So just like blink slowly and look at the camera seductively. So I was like, you got it. Did you get it? <laughs> so then the, the coup de grace of this story that this is what I tell like all my friends and family was, Skylar is looking at like the playback of the video and he goes, oh, that's perfect. You have such pretty eyes. You're really pretty. Yeah, that's a great shot. And I'm sitting there with just like, I can feel the fire going from like my toes to my head of like, Skylar Aston called me pretty, I guess I can die now. <laughs> so they say, all right, that's a wrap. We got all of the shots we needed. Thank you ladies for staying afterwards. Like, did you guys want some photos? So that's when I get my photo and I'm kind of disappointed because I should have taken it outside with the better lighting because it just looks like I'm in a weird Amsterdam brothel or something with all the red lighting and the fog machine. So it is a terrible, terrible photo, but I'm really happy I got it because it was such a fun and memorable experience. I was more than happy to do that unpaid. I would do that every Tuesday night in a music video because it was just so fun to meet new people and kind of like get inspired by the these artists. You know, just hearing Scholar talk about how the pandemic really inspired him to write this single and finally pursue his solo career it was just very inspiring you know and so i had a great time but you might be wondering earlier i was talking about something embarrassing that happened you might have thought it was the wink thing oh, eh, that's actually pretty embarrassing too but no the embarrassing part was this so as you guys know i have been taking a little bit of a break from social media at least from like 
Instagram and TikTok. You guys can follow me on Twitter. I tweet more than ever now. But I'm really glad I didn't post about anything on my Instagram because if I were in a very social media upper wave, I guess, I would have been posting all about it. I would have sent that photo up. I would have been like, guys, can't wait for this music video to release because in my head, I was like, I was the main girl of this. Like I was the main character. I will be starring in a music video and everybody needs to look out for it when it drops to go watch it. But I didn't, you know? I had restraint. What I did do was I did tell a lot of friends and family like, oh my gosh, you guys, I was in a music video. Like I'll send you the link when it comes out, like keep an eye out. So they all start going, following Skylar Aston to like see when that music video is gonna drop. So about a month later, he's like, all right, tomorrow's the day, like when my new single music video drops. And so I was like, guys, here it is. Like here it comes. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so the music video drops, you guys, and I am barely in it. I I am the only person, I and my mom at least, would know that that person is me. All of the shots are like of just my sparkly dress. They did keep the winking shot, which is so funny, but it's so zoomed in, it could be literally anybody. And it was just so funny how I like hyped it up so much in my head and I forgot that Skylar Aston is the main person of this music video, not some random girl. Like, why did I think I would be just absolutely featured in this music video? So I got super disappointed. I got really sad. And like, my mom was texting me. She was like, did it, did it come out? Like, did it come out? And I like, didn't even respond to her because I didn't even want to face the music figuratively and literally. So my mom finally gets a hold of me and she's like, JC, you were in a music video. And I was like, yeah, for a whole two seconds, or at least my boobs were. And she was like, um, the 10 screenshots I just took beg to differ. <laughs> and that's literally the perfect way to put it. I was in it for probably 10 frames. And I am actually really grateful I didn't post about it on social media because then I would have just felt so embarrassed that I hyped it up so much and that I would have made people watch it just to be like, where were you? Like you can really barely tell it was me. But what I did do was I did edit it down just to my parts that I'm in essentially, because again, I do a lot of these gigs so I can improve my reel and get even bigger jobs. And so I needed something for my reel. So I will play the 15 seconds that I was in, but I'll use a different song because I don't want to get copyright striked. But here are my 15 seconds of fame. So yeah, as you can see, there's little tidbits where it's like, oh, I can, I can tell that's JC. But if you're like a, an agent being like, whoa, who's that girl? I need to sign her to my agency. Nah, not gonna happen, but I don't know what I expected. But regardless, I still had so much fun doing this. Again, I would do it unpaid every night of the week if I could, cause it was just really fun. And hopefully it'll lead to, you know, other opportunities. I met a lot of people, you know, you just gotta keep networking, making connections and growing your own personal brand within this crazy Los Angeles entertainment world. But I definitely recommend if you guys, um, if you're free on weeknights, just keep an eye out for those random listings and just go and have fun and meet new people. And even though you may not be the star of a music video, you get to say that you were in a Skylar Aston music video, which honestly is the biggest reward of all of this. So I am definitely grateful. I just wanted to share this funny story in the sense of I was in a music video, barely, <laughs> but it still counts. So that is the story of how I was in Skylar Aston's music video. I hope it was informative in the sense of how music videos work, how being a background extra works, because I, I'm sitting here saying like, man, I was barely in it, but I was in it way more than the 15 to 20 other people that were in it. You know, you can't even decipher faces at that point. So I am grateful for the part that I did get. So be mindful of that, that if you do want to do any type of background or extra work, that it might not be your 15 minutes of fame, but it is more of just a fun way to network and just get out there, meet new people and have fun. It was just fun. I had a good time. So I hope that inspires you guys to maybe expand your horizons and take some unpaid things on the side, I don't know. But I thank you guys so, so very much for watching. And if Skylar Aston is watching this, please know I'm not offended by my decreased part. I am honestly just very sorry that I couldn't be a more beautiful winker, but I'll work on it. And I appreciate the opportunity and I appreciate you being so nice. Again, nobody else listened, this is just for Skylar. You were awesome.
and I hope your musical career succeeds. Love you, bud. Now this is for everybody else. Bye, Skylar. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope to catch you in my next story time, whenever that may be. Again, I thank you all for your patience as I kind of figure out when I can work making videos into my crazy schedule. But I appreciate you all so much and I will see you next time. Toodles! I know of the story where somebody just applied for it, got a job for a music video. She shows up and it's a Justin Music Bieber. Justin Music Bieber video. Justin, <laughs> Justin, oh my cats. Oh my cats! Oh my cats. This is just, <laughs> just, <laughs> never mind.